cat tongue that you hold with your mouth yeah. so that you can effectively lick your cat without yeah. actually using your tongue. Yeah. Is this a product you'd look into or no. you've realized now you're not you're not deterred to, to lick your cat directly? It's it's I find that product ridiculous. <laughs> it looks like more of a joke product. I mean if you're gonna if well, you're gonna, kind of is. Yeah. If you're gonna do it, go all in. Well, all right. I mean Okay. I'm surprised that you're not more interested in this product. It just doesn't feel as true. All right. Well, I feel like I'm, I'm doing a disservice to the cat if I'm pretending to clean him, because it's not really cleaning him. Aren't you? Isn't it? Is your tongue really cleaning it? Well, maybe not. Or are you just licking it? It looked like he had to re-clean himself afterwards. Well, uh, yeah, So exactly. maybe, maybe, maybe not. Because that, that fake tongue is basically a brush, no? Yeah, you're right. So you're brushing him. And what's the cat tongue do? A cat tongue is like a little sandpaper, so it's not really like scrubbing with soap. It's like, it's like brushing. Listen, man, there's no going back. Oh, I no. can't undo what I've done, and no, I, I'll probably just have to keep it up. <laughs> Are the images on screen. Who is it? Is it Nissan that's got those dancing hamsters? I don't know. Who cares? Kia. Who doesn't have dancing hamsters? What's the hamsters? deal with those dancing hamsters? Is that really moving vehicles? Are people sitting at home going like, man, those hamsters, those hamsters are crumping, and then and then I, I need to get a Kia. Yeah, those hamsters dance so well that I need to get a Kia. Do they use the hamster dance song? No, they don't even use the hamster dance song. I, I, I forgot all about that song. That's a good point. Uh, and the sequel, even hamsters fall in love. What? Did you not hear the sequel? It was like no. a year later. It's like everyone's blown away by the hamster song. I think on Mix ninety six, it won the uh, uh, what was that? thing they used to do it, it mix was, it or nix it or yeah something? mix it or nix it it was like a two-week running champion yeah. mix it or nix it to the point that the that the host of the dj uh was like guys we gotta get rid of this hamster song it keeps winning i don't understand why you all like the hamster song but you're all voting for it yeah. uh stop stop calling in at 7 30 for this damn hamster song stop i don't want to hear it thing. anymore <laughs> it's a stupid song just kept making it. It was just like a hick hamster who was who was singing. Yeah, and I don't even and the, but the sequel to it, which was which flopped. Yeah, I'll tell you, <laughs> that's a flop. <laughs> um, it was. <laughs> <laughs> They're both so stupid. All right, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> even hamsters fall in love. Yeah, and the lyrics were even hamsters fall in love, just like you'd expect them to. Uh, I don't remember any more of the lyrics, but it was sung in a very high pitched hamster voice. Of course. Uh, which is essentially just a chipmunk voice. We're well, not fooling anybody. Yeah. A hamster song, man. Well, the thing is, the hamsters sing original compositions, and the chipmunks just do covers. Yeah. Aside from uh, the hula hoop song. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's the one where Dave's really aggressive towards Alvin. Dave is, song, yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah, it's like because we're doing this song and like he's not cooperating. Dave is like their fa- adopted father slash producer. He's just like, "Fucking Alvin, you <laughs> son of a bitch, cooperate with me." Yeah, it's like I'm exploiting you. I want a hula hoop. And he's like, "No, shut the fuck up. Just make sing me, this song. Make me tons of money." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, 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 Dave is like uh, uh, Michael Jackson's dad. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. and he starts off, and it's like he doesn't even care. Dave doesn't even care that this is being recorded. This is the track that's going out, and people are gonna know it. He just he's just interrupting the songs, like Alvin, <laughs> Alvin, <laughs> and then he does his like his classic line of just yelling out Alvin's name before wringing his little chipmunk neck <laughs> is is what he's gotten famous for, basically for for Abuse. cruelty towards animals. In this in this time in my this time in my life, I don't. Uh, I felt like none of the burgers really spoke to me. They weren't really marketed for me. What, what do you mean by that? Well, there's the teen burger, the mama burger, the papa burger, the grandfather yeah. burger. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember what the, what yeah, the yeah yeah gra- grandpa burger. Grandpa know, burger, like yeah. That. And then the matzo burger. The matzo is not a person, so I just got the matzo burger. Okay, so you feel like you don't fit in this family unit. Yeah. There's no like bachelor burger. No, no like thirty. 30 year old uh, I guess I'd just be the teen burger but 15 years later yeah it doesn't work there's no like live-in girlfriend burger there's no uh, yeah there's, there's no <laughs> I don't know there's no it'd probably be the most depressing burger there's no like quarter life crisis burger yeah. there's nothing of that sort quarter life crisis burger would be good and the teen would just it, would, it wouldn't be a teen anymore I guess it would be a 30 year old guy he'd be starting to bald he'd be I a th- little 
uh, a little overweight. He'd look sad. Everyone's smiling. I, I feel like maybe sad. the quarter life crisis burger would be like the healthiest burger. It'd be like a lettuce wrap. Like, oh, we're turning it around. We're, still, we're we're fixing this life. But by the time you become <laughs> the Papa Burger again, you're like, forget it. We're back to the burger. Yeah, though the quarter life burger is just a. There's no burger underneath it. It just says, leave this place. <laughs> Go for a jog. Yeah, it's like, what time are you ordering this burger? If it's during normal working hours, go get a, a real job. <laughs> uh, if it's three in the morning, go home. You're doing something wrong. You're yeah. Just, <laughs> this is this is why you're having the crisis. The big blur of burgers. It's true. One day we should do an incest burger. What does that mean? Where we take the teen burger, the mama burger, the papa burger, the grandfather burger, and we just mix them all up, make a big burger out of all of them. That would be a mess. How many buns would be involved? The buns aren't as por- uh, aren't as important as the meat. Oh, so you just want a s- super multi patty burger? Yeah, but I, I mean, maintain- that's basically what the grandpa burger is. It's a triple patty burger. Yeah, but it's got to be the burger. It's got to be the sauces from the mama. No, and the, actually, no. The bacon from the it. team. It doesn't make sense because the pop burger <laughs> and the mama burger. If you put those together, you basically have the grandpa burger and not the teen burger. Ah, geez, yeah, you're right. They didn't put a lot of thought into it. Maybe we've dis- <laughs> just de- maybe we've put too much thought into it. Well, if A and W, if you're listening to this, uh, reconstruct the way your burgers are made, and also think about the possibility of the super incest burger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's super marketable. Yeah. yeah. Matthew, your shirt is in, in tatters. Look look at your sleeve. Look at your sleeve. It's falling apart. I honestly felt we went we went to dinner tonight, and uh, uh, the waitress was asking like, "Oh, so why are you why are you wearing that festive Christmas sweater?" And I was like, "Hey, you know, it's getting close to Christmas. Yeah, it's uh, getting the getting the season." She's like, "Oh, I'm glad you weren't going to, you know, some sort of like cheesy Christmas sweater party." I was like, "No, nah, man, it's just it's the season." And Matthew is sitting across from me, this nice restaurant. I'm drinking wine. Your shirt's in damn tatters. But she did ask me at one point, she was like, why is your shirt in tatters? I was like, I'm just poor. <laughs> no, he's, she didn't ask, He's taking but... me out to dinner as his like, a Christmas gift to charity. I was like, well, I'll have an appetizer <laughs> and dessert and a couple of drinks. He can have a burger. It's true. She kept bringing me, like, you would order the appetizer and she'd bring me an extra plate and be like, just in case he wants to share. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, thank you. And then she brings you the key lime pie after and she brings I... me an extra fork. Yeah. And again, looks at me and kind of winks, like, just in case he wants to share. I I didn't, you know what? In retrospect, I, she was being very charming and what have you. Yeah. Um, but in retrospect, it's like, I am a glutton, and perhaps <laughs> I will share with this 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 raggedy raggedy shirt. What am I saying? This raggedy shirted man. <laughs> yeah. I, for, okay. I'm, first I off, I trim my beard. You're all scraggly. <sighs> First off, I love this shirt. That's the reason I wear it to rags. It, well, you know, it's a, we're at the end of the road here, Matthew. Not yet. You should see, I keep shirts that have holes in both of the armpits. The sleeve is less of a sleeve than just held on by threads at this point. You need some and new I shirts. I, I have new shirts of, of that exact shirt, but I just kept those shirts. Well, th- throw these away. I can't do it. I love them. You're they crazy. Breathe. They breathe so well. Well, yeah, because yeah, they're barely held together by anything. Well, well. <laughs> did, did, are there any other? I, I just feel like Dundee's, mm-hmm. which I've never been to, Rubens, uh, yeah. and Dunn's, they all don't have a big pickle mascot? <laughs> Mandela effect. I just thought they had a pickle mascot. <laughs> I think that's just Dunn's, Matthew. Just I don't think Rubens. I think Rubens being a little classier and for old people doesn't need a mascot. Okay. And uh, Dundee's, I don't believe, has a mascot either. I mean, it's a good mascot as far as mascot goes. Kind of reminds me of Clippy. Who the hell's Clippy? Isn't he a little paperclip uh, oh, icon? Like a Windows, Windows 95 Windows 95 uh, Office. Yeah. He would tell you clip, how to yeah, paper clip, copy and like, paste yeah. things. If you want to save your file, you're going to want to do one of these. I kind of feel like that's how the pickle would be, too. It's like, try one of a smoked meat egg rolls. It's a weird little fusion of Asian and Montreal cuisine. <laughs> I, I like the dramatic pauses. They, 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 didn't, they, didn't they used to have ads? Maybe they still do. Where it was like, uh, I think they had, it was always a, a man and a woman on the radio, radio ads. 
And I want to say the man was maybe named Matzo Ball. And the woman was just like, girl? Matzo so, Ball? Oh, yeah. Matzo Ball and girl. Do, do you remember that no. at all? <laughs> no. Where it'd be like, you know, it was like maybe for the new soup or whatever. Maybe it was a Matzo Ball soup type of thing. <laughs> Advertising their new soup? <laughs> And it was like, hey, girl, have you tried our new matzo ball soup? And she's like, oh, matzo ball, you love that matzo ball soup. He's like, oh, girl, you know it. Dunn's famous since 1927. Wow. That, that's an ad right there. Right, right away. There, huh? Seven seconds. Boom. In and out. Yeah. Hey, girl. That's how you do it. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, matzo ball. You into that matzo ball soup? Stop, mm. t- stop talking about that matzo ball soup. <laughs> matzo ball, man. <laughs> yeah. Now... I only found out a couple of years ago that I think someone was asking, like, oh, when, when's the first day of spring in, like, January? And I was like, well, we don't know yet. <laughs> I said, what do you mean, Sebastian? Well, we're only going to find out on Groundhog Day. And they were flabbergasted at how a grown man had no idea that the first day of spring is set. It's on calendars. I just thought for all my life, that calendars would have not marked the first day of spring because you don't know if it's four or six days, uh, four or six weeks away until Groundhog Day happens. That's such a wide margin. It's only two weeks difference. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I always thought it was four to six weeks uh, would differ from the regular date. Oh so, boy, yeah, that so is a wide that, margin. Like, yeah, well, it could be a month and a half later. It's it's four weeks away, or it's six weeks away if he sees his shadow. Oh, that's and nice. then I also thought, well, there are different groundhogs, so there's regional differences. I guess you gotta set your calendar according to your regional groundhog. Whoa. So spring will start on a certain day in some places, and you know, spring only starts two weeks later in other places. So you weren't kidding about this only happening a few years ago, because you were old enough to understand regional like, <laughs> That they're regional <laughs> groundhogs and what have you. Yeah, I'm talking like two years ago. Okay. Um, um, and uh, it just didn't make sense to me that why do we even do it then? What's the point if the calendar's already set? We already know when spring starts. Yeah. So what are we even doing here? <laughs> what are we learning from the groundhog? Have you done this? Have you gone to a groundhog's day and then yelled at everybody? And <laughs> called them all out? Hey, everybody! <laughs> what are we even doing here? We know when spring starts. <laughs> so the 21st. Yeah, pull a calendar out and just... Look like, at this! They've been lying to you. Trying to sell more groundhogs. <laughs> <laughs> Big Groundhog has been lying to us all this time. Oh, it's so like them. <laughs> How many Groundhogs have you bought in the course of your life <laughs> because of the lies? Because of the lies and, you know, I'm setting up lights all over just trying to set up so it's no shadows, just really like top lighting it or whatever. You should set it up with a bunch of blind Groundhogs <laughs> that you have to care for now. Every February 2nd, I'm shaking the cage, going like, oh no, he's dead again. <laughs> You can't just you can't just put them away for a year and, and expect them to be, you know, pep full of pep. <laughs> pep full of pep. Um, uh, yeah. So turns out, I guess it's just like an old wives' tale deal. Yeah. Where if the groundhog sees a shadow, winter weather will continue a little longer. Okay. Whatever. What? What are we? What? This is nonsense, Groundhog's Day. Those old wives. Those old wives. Where have they been lying to everyone my whole life? You know, just sitting at home, waiting for their husbands. It's like, ah, oh, man, he's going to ask me how my day was. i got to come up with something. It's like, get this. <laughs> get a load of this. This groundhog popped out. Looked around. Saw a shadow. Went back in. Winter is only starting in April, uh, ending in April this year. <laughs> it's like, how did you pull? How did you connect that with what you saw? How did you connect the whole winter thing? Though? I'm telling you, he's scared. Scared of the winter. Okay, can I please cut the next burger? <laughs> I'm doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Says you. All right, wearing a guys. lumberjack shirt and just like just <laughs> softly going through this. Okay, well, are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna put pressure on the burger? I would like to see you cut a burger. I want to see if you squish it down. Well, that might it, be your you're you're you you giving the burger a manicure. Yep. You gotta be gentle with it. You gotta preserve its 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 uh, integrity. <laughs> trying not to hurt those sesame seed feelings. Yeah. Whatever you guys. Right, guys the so fire in his eyes right now. Though. <laughs> 
I mean, if I ever see any of you guys eating a breakfast sandwich at five in the afternoon, so I'm, uh, smack.